Hello Sagittarius, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and it will be from the 4th to the 10th of January 2021. So let's pull your card and see what we get for you Sagittarius for the week. Okay, lovely energy we have. Don't stop, keep going. Definitely an energy of keep taking action, keep going for something. Lovely energy. Okay, so I'm going to pull four cards. Sagittarius, the first card is you, your current situation. The second card is your challenge. Third card, advice from spirit. Fourth card is your outcome. And then we'll clarify the cards and go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. Okay, what do we have for Sagittarius, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Sagittarians. 4th to the 10th of January 2021. Message for Sagittarius, please. Thank you. Very nice. Sagittarian energy. We have the Eight of Wands. This is your current situation. Knight of Swords is your challenge. Four of Pentacles is advice from spirit and the page of swords is your outcome let's clarify these cards and go deeper into the message for Sagittarius please 4th to the 10th of January 2021 and as I'm doing these on New Year's Eve happy New Year Sagittarius <laughs> okay one more shuffle So what do we have for Sagittarius, please? Message for Sagittarius, thank you. Thank you. We have the Three of Pentacles. Knight of Swords is clarified with temperance, which is Sagittarius, interestingly enough. We have the Nine of Cups associated with the Four of Pentacles. And the Page of Pentacles, clarifying the Page of Swords. Bottom of the deck, we have the Star card of Aquarius and an energy of don't stop. It feels very much to do with your money and career here. Because the Eight of Wands is suddenly out of the blue. It's happening. Something is happening. This can be news coming into you. It's generally really positive news. I mean, it can be to do with opportunity or progress in a situation or something shifting. Um, I mean, there's growth with the Eight of Wands. It can sometimes be associated with travel as well um, or distance. It can be to do with distance uh, distance communication, communicating at a distance, can be online as well, online opportunity maybe for some of you. But it feels like something that you've taken action towards. All of a sudden there is a shift. And it feels quite imminent because the Three of Pentacles, I mean, this can be a card of, of the beginnings of success. It's very good in terms of money and career. I mean, so it, it can represent the beginnings of success in terms of money career. I mean, that can be in terms of collaborative projects with other people, if you're setting up your own business or partnership. Um, it's also a good sign of success, um, manifesting the beginnings of success here. So there's some kind of shift, the beginnings of success coming your way. 
I mean, you know, sometimes I see this to do with property development as well, or, you know, it can be to do with doing up a home. Uh, but it feels really beautiful. It feels like there's the beginnings, the uh, news that is being in the beginning, beginnings of success, positive news. Um, I mean, you know, sometimes it's about networking, can be to do with, uh, with jobs, this can be to do with um, something that you've been waiting for, the positive shift. But like I said, it could be to do with some kind of distance or online thing. We have the Knight of Swords and the Temperance. So temperance is your energy, Sagittarius. It's a card of finding balance. Finding balance, finding the middle way through extreme volatile situations. So we have fire on one hand and we have the water on the other. And the temperance energy is how you find the middle way through extreme opposing forces. To, to find your flow. Sometimes there's a kind of energy here of, of how you needed to adapt, adjust and change, maybe to some news that came into you, news that maybe presented some kind of challenge. I mean, the Knight of Swords can represent some incoming news, information, uh, a conversation that meant that you had to take steps to adjust previously held beliefs, adapt and change to your circumstances, find the middle way through a situation, you know, in order to get balance back in your life. So that could be in whatever context this represents. I mean, it feels to do with money, career, finances, potential property. Um, so definitely an energy of something, some challenging news or information came to light here where you had to just adjust and adapt find balance, find your flow again. But as it's your challenge position, it feels like something that's for you out of balance and you're just grappling, working to just get that back. But it feels like there's a positive shift coming your way. That's for sure, a positive information news. Because the four of, the four of pentacles, it can be a card of being careful with money. This is, I mean, this can be the advice from spirit that, that it might well be that whatever this news was, it meant that you had to be careful with money. I mean, this is self-preservation, self-protection, energy. Um, it, it definitely feels like there's a caution energy here, cautious. But the message from spirit is, you might have gone through this period of, of being cautious, having been cautious with money, protect what's yours, being very careful, um, you know, with your practical resources, you know, material resources, that kind of energy. But the Nine of Cups is saying that you're going to get your wish, your hopes, dreams and wishes. And it feels like there is some kind of shift coming your way that will bring in some kind of change. The, the Page of Swords, Sagittarius, is a card of, can be a card of news, um, news coming your way. And the pages represent, these are two pages. So this is the beginnings of something new, the beginnings of something, something that changes, the beginnings of change. Um, and it feels like there's some kind of news, information coming your way. That is, that is bringing in, it could be to do with career and financial opportunity. I mean, these are news, the pages can be the messengers, they can also be the apprenticeships. So if it's not to do with, I mean, if it definitely feels like some opportunity, news, information is quite imminent. And that's what these cards are saying as well. Um, but it can also be an energy of you learning. So you may have gone through a period of learning. 
it feels in this situation that you've been adjusting, adapting, trying to get balance back in your life, having got some bad news. It feels in that situation. And there's the manifestation of the beginnings of success in your current situation. Now, like I said, this could be to do with news, to do with career financial opportunities, um, offers, that kind of energy. But it can also be the steps that you've taken to bring that in, to manifest it. So in this situation, it can be skills development. You've worked hard, you've used your resources wisely um, and carefully and savvily to maybe get, I mean, this can be to do with getting qualifications or learning a new skill, you know, it's that kind of energy that will advance you or make you more attractive in for, for the long term. So it, it feels like whatever this is, it, there's definitely been some learning here, learning of lessons, or you've learned and developed yourself to the point where it feels like there is the beginnings of success coming your way. It can manifest in some kind of news to do with an opportunity here. That's for sure. I mean, that's beautiful energy because there's a message of hope, have faith. The path that you're on is the right one. I mean, if you're being careful with money, you might be prioritizing working hard to manifest. It could be a new business. Uh, it could even be an online business for some of you. And it feels like there could be some kind of shift coming your way as well. Um, you could be learning some kind of new skill, like I said, or doing something or manifesting something new online. And there's a message of hope. Stay hopeful. You're on the right path. So it feels either on one hand, for some of you, it could be to do with news, to do with an opportunity. And that's very straightforward. Or it could well be that you've been careful with money. You're using your resources wisely. You've had to adapt in terms of, you know, your beliefs, uh, where your focus is now in your life. And it feels like maybe for some of you, you've learned some, you've developed your self. I mean, it feels to do with money, career, business development of some kind, but setting yourself up for the long term. And the star is saying, keep going, because again, this is a card of getting your wish, your hope, your dream. Um, you're on the right path to get your hope, dream, wish. Um, this is the divine wish fulfillment card. You have the wish fulfillment card here. So it feels like, again, the Nine of Cups is a card of alignment as well. And this is the path. You know, this feels like you're aligning to the right path that you need to be on. Um, and if you could continue to put your effort, energy, prioritize and focus and action towards this, it feels like you're going to get your wish. That's either in the form of some kind of news to do with an opportunity, or it can well be that whatever you're manifesting, whatever new skill or how you've developed yourself and, and, and been learning and developing, it feels like it's, it's going to set you up for the long-term success. So it feels very beautiful. That's why you're being told don't stop because you are going to get your hope, dream and wish. And for some of you that could manifest in terms of some communication coming in this week. Um, for others, it feels like there has been some skills development that you've been doing to set yourself up for the long term, maybe setting up your own business. And there are some positive shifts coming your way. So definitely an energy of you're going to get your hope, dream and wish. Feels very beautiful. Yeah, and you see I've got the Eight of, of Pentacles, which is a card of hard work. Um, it can be the card of the apprentice. It can be a card of the in internship. Working hard, it can be a card of self-development as well. But it is somebody who is working really hard and they bring positive change into their money career finances by their hard work and effort, sheer hard work. Um, this is somebody who is so focused, who will do the mundane, who will keep going at something um, in the practical sense till they bring positive change to their money career finances. And it feels in this situation that is where you're getting the reward. There's positive change coming in terms of money career finances. So for some of you, it feels a very hopeful message, most definitely. Some kind of positive shift, news, information is coming your way, that's for sure. You might be manifesting some kind of online business as well, I have to say. But either way, it feels very hopeful. A lot of hard work has gone into this. And it definitely feels like there is some recognition coming to you from the universe because you're going to get your wish. This is a wish is granted because you've worked so hard at something. So don't stop, keep going because the path that you're on is a blessed one. 
Wow, Sagittarius, it feels very beautiful. So let's pull a final message for you. Yeah, we have life energy. So we have the happy, fair, the happy fairy of sunshine, I should say, brings lots of life-giving energy. She reminds you to shine your light and to reveal anything in the shadows that needs to be healed. It, it feels like you're, I mean, it feels positive shifts, positive change either way. But there's definitely an energy of what you're working towards now is bringing in some kind of goal, hope, dream, wish. There is something about being careful with money here, protecting what's yours as well, but it's definitely leading to some kind of recognition from the universe, but also maybe some physical recognition for you, you know, so it feels very beautiful. I hope you enjoyed the reading, Sagittarius. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you and I will see you next time. Thank you.